Alright guys, got the Dodge up in the air, 2015 model, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, same procedure, alright, probably bigger, different setup, if you have a Brembo caliper, different story, but similar, is similar, alright guys, customer brought me pieces, long story short, there's the part number, if you can see it right there, that's for the brakes, these are the brakes, this is the hardware case it's gonna come with, alright, I did the opposite side, so let's go out here. Bam, bam, bam. Pretty good here, all right? So I decided to make a video on this side so you guys can see exactly, and that's the part number. I do have a disc over here. This is a disc, and there's the part number, all right, for the disc. This is for this particular Dodge. This is a base model, all right? The disc do need to be cleaned, all right? So you need a brake parts cleaner. Take this, spray this on. This is already clean, but I'm showing you guys again, all right? Do this, and on the opposite side, same thing is clean, because this does have oil. Your brakes are not gonna stop if you don't clean that, all right, guys? So, what we're gonna do here is, if you can, turn your steering towards this way or pull the caliper. We're gonna remove this number 13 right here. These, this bolt right here for the caliper bracket and this one, all right, with the impact gun. Also, you're gonna need to remove this number 10 right here for this bracket here because it's not gonna give you enough clearance for that bolt for you to put it. These are thread locked in, all right? Very difficult to get out, all right? Should be a simple job, guys. We're gonna go step by step and do this together, all right? All right, guys, first thing first, let's put the light right here. We're gonna remove that number 13, all right? It's probably gonna free play from this end, all right? Oh, that's number 10. So you need a number 13 socket. You're gonna go counterclockwise. Bam, like I said, it's gonna free play. All right, so use a wise grip if you need to, or if you have a wrench that fits on that. It's probably like number 17. But once it's loose, all you need to do is hold it. And it's gonna come right out. Bam, all right, the yellow thing is a thread lock. That's what I hate about these dodges because when we get into that other bolt, which is number 21, I'm gonna be screaming. All right, so take a ply bar, remove this. You can also yank the caliper once you make enough space. Just push it back a little bit and that's gonna let it free play enough for you to maneuver this around, all right? So let's lift this guy out, put this guy away. All right, guys, if you do not want your brake pad to wear uneven, make sure your pins are greased up and make sure they're free playing, all right? This is pretty good, nice and smooth, all right? But brake pads look pretty good, but the customer bring me everything. He said, do it because his rotors are bad, all right? There's one and there's two. While you at it, guys, might as well, if you have a new hardware, Remove this guy, all right? Right there. Because right now, this is holding it for you. We're gonna make it nice and easy, all right? For you to bring that up. And bam, got that out. All right, guys, next step is for us to go back there. I'm gonna put an impact gun on this. But before that, let's see if my camera can see back here. I do need to remove that number 10 right there, all right? The reason is because that thing is not gonna let me put my socket right here. So pretty much, where's my socket? Yeah, let me go get the socket. All right, gotta run with my socket and impact gun. It's not gonna let this go on, you see that? It's not gonna let it go on, all right? So, take this number 10. Oh, I got it on tightening mode. Let's reverse it. That's it. This thing, once you have it loose, the bolt should come right out, right? Use the socket. Ah, there you go. Use the socket to take this guy off. And there it is. It fell down, but see, now you have clearance, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my impact gun. Ah, where's my socket? 
This is the impact gun. I'm gonna go down below and I'm gonna see if I could pop that guy out with the impact gun. Believe it or not, this is the hardest part of this job, trying to get these two bolts out, right? Your hand is not gonna do it unless you have a lot of leverage. Huh? So what was it thinking? Oh, the caliper's on. guys I got that out doing that if you can heat this up guys it should come out a little easier but oh that was tough oh I forgot the top one all right I'm gonna get that one out and then we'll just continue all right guys got that one out too it's stuck a little bit but thread lock if you can heat this beautiful all right heat it up a little bit it should come right out right all right guys so that's out next step is we're gonna bang this Water and that's it. That's gonna pop out. All this corrosion, get it out of there, guys. Because if you leave it behind, good luck to you taking it back out. All right. Also, make sure this hub is nice and clean. This is shiny. I don't know why this thing nobody ever removed it, but this is shiny. I don't even need to touch this. But if yours is corroded, clean it with the wire brush, lubricate it, put a little bit of lube on it. All right, before you put the water on. Because if you don't clean it, make it even, the car might warp, the water might, uh, car might shake, right? Even the edges here. Alright, happy with that, alright? So, let me go get the water. Alright guys, got my water here. Make sure this side and this side is clean. Alright, let's put the water on. Bam. You're going to take... Take two of your lug nuts to make life real easy, all right, guys? Put these lug nuts on. This is gonna hold the, uh, the rotor against the hub so you have nice and clear view, a nice and clear uh, straight surface so the brake pad and the, the bracket go in, go in, all right? All right, guys, so time for us to prep the caliper bracket here. So what we're gonna do here is I like to file here. And here against the surface in the bottom and the edges. Nice and clean, alright? You can use a wire brush, a file. Alright, just make sure all this dust and debris and rust is out of there, alright? After that, you're gonna take your hardware kit and install the hardware kit, all right? You can tap it down with your file. Should be nice and even, all right? Let me grab another one. Here's another one. Same thing. Perfect. All right. This is the part where I'm gonna explain to you if you watch my other videos. If your brake pads are wearing uneven, all right? The reason is because your brake pad is jammed up, right? That could be one, that could be one of many reasons, all right? Your brake pad should go in smoothly. You see how without me struggling, I got this brake pad in. 
If you're hammering, banging, and pushing to get this brake pad in, that's no good, all right? That means it's gonna, it's, it's gonna stay stuck. It's gonna go in, touch against this, and it's gonna stay stuck, all right? You can file a little bit on the edges here. That should give you a little bit of more clearance for the brake pads to go in smoothly, all right? You see that, how this brake pad went right through? There you go, perfectly even, all right? And that's it, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put my camera in here a little bit, so you can see. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my lighting on this side, I'm gonna take this bracket and the brake pads, I'm gonna put one, and two bolts in, all right? Not even gonna be able to tighten this, or right? either you could clean it or put new uh, bolts, all right? But I'm gonna tighten this with my best of my ability, all right? And I'm gonna come back when I'm tightening, and if you do need to torque, you should torque. All right, so let's, let me get this in and then we'll continue. All right guys, I got both of these bolts tight. All right, next, I'm gonna bring the camera out before we tighten this bolt. So let's get this camera out of there. And let me get my light. So the next step is for us to grab this caliper. All right, what I like to do is, I like to, let's bring the camera out first. These are old brake pad. All right, make sure the surface is clean. Take your old brake pad, put it here, right? Compress tool, C-clamp will work, or tool such as this to compress the piston back in, all right? When you're done with this brake job, guys, make sure you pump the brake pedal because it's gonna be soft. The car is not gonna stop if you start it, all right? because the pistons need to retract back, all right? All right, guys, this car, customer declined me doing my job with all of my parts, but do put some lube here. His car is pretty good. Even if he had asked me, I would have told him about this, but make sure your line is not twisted, all right? Same way, you're gonna get this caliper pin in. Should go in nice and easy. And after that, you should be able to put this the piston didn't go in all the way, maybe. His brake pads are very thick, all right? A little thicker than usual, but that's normal. So even out after one mile or two mile. But let's get the bolt in. And what we're gonna do is tighten this bolt. I have to torque that one, but I'm gonna snug it for now, all right? Again, guys, you do need to hold it with one of your tools to turn the bolt because it's gonna turn free play with the other end. Let me put the light here. It's gonna turn from the other end, all right? So you do need to hold it with something to do that, all right? But I'm gonna torque this. But before we do that, let's finish out the number 10 bolt, which fell on the ground for me. But we do need to go back with the camera. Let's go back inside, guys, again. All right, so we're back here. We do need to take this bolt and put it right there. I don't know if my camera is facing that way. Right there. That number 10 needs to go right there and lock that number 10 down. And you're done guys. Make sure all your bolts are tight and torqued to the spec. You do not want to leave nothing loose, all right? And make sure you do pump the brake pedal before you start the car, all right? That's it guys. Bada bing, bada boom. It's job well done. I do need to tighten it, which I'm gonna do. You guys are not gonna see me. But there it is, it's all done, all right? Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like all of our videos.